Hi guys, it's Kate from Opener Council and Life Coaching. Today is Winning Wednesday and a way that we win at life is to stop lying to ourselves. Did you hear me? Stop lying to ourselves, right? We need to stop it. Too many people give themselves the excuse to stay sick, unhappy, anxious, you may be one of them. You may say you want to make changes necessary to boost your brain health or just overall health and overcome and depression and anxiety, but you don't do it. It's these little excuses or these little lies that you tell yourself that you're <clears throat> that keep you feeling bad and prevent you from doing what you need to do to gain control of your life and start feeling better. Sound familiar? Here are the most common little lies psychiatrists hear from their patients that devastate their physical and mental health. Be honest with yourself and take note if you're lying to yourself about any of these and are you willing to change to improve your brain and mental health? Little lie number one, this will be hard. Truth. Focusing on getting well is dramatically easier than being sick or losing your mind. The brain hates change. It's like it likes to do what it has it already has done. OK, the exciting news is that you can change unwanted behaviors. You can change unwanted behaviors. Initially, change is hard, but with the right attitude and the right strategies, it can be very rewarding. Practicing good sleep behaviors, such as getting seven to eight hours of sleep, exercising, saying no to constantly checking your social media feed, which has been shown to increase depression and loneliness. Checking that feed all the time uh, strengthens the willpower circuits in the brain. So when we practice good behaviors, it strengthens the willpower circuits in the brain. Practice strengthens the ability to do it well and do it better over and over. Okay. Alternatively, giving into destructive behaviors such as emotional explosions, mindlessly eating the cookies at work, believing every freaking stupid thought that pops into your head, or consuming excess uh, alcohol or any substances, um, they strengthen those particular circuits. So the more you give in, the harder it will be to overcome. Whatever behaviors you engage in are the ones that will be likely to continue. Line number two, I don't want to deprive myself. The truth is so many people deal with anxiety and depression. Th those people who deal with anxiety and depression use food and alcohol and cigarettes and marijuana to self-medicate their feelings. They don't want to deprive themselves from these short-term mood enhancers, but the substances actually make your symptoms worse in the long run and lead to other issues such as weight gain, addiction, you know, things that'll ex, ex, ex I can't say that word, exacerbate, exacerbate. Somebody say it out loud for me. Exacerbate, exacerbate, is that the word? It actually rubs against it, it makes it, uh, more complex and compound. It actually compounds the problem, okay? So when we make poor health decisions, we're depriving ourselves of what we really want, which is lasting energy, happiness, sense of calm, good health. Eating a brain healthy diet is a, a way that we can avoid harmful substances. And it actually helps with mood swings and panic attacks and depression and even dementia when we eat a brain healthy diet. When our mindset is on deprivation, it's like what we're gonna focus on. <laughs> what can't I eat, right? For, go on a diet, okay, now I can't have cake and cookies and uh, Okay, I can't have bread, okay. If all you're focused on is what you can't have, you're not thinking about what you can have, it's, it, you're likely to just get stuck in that anxiety and depression. To feel better fast for a lifetime, it's important to develop an abundance, a good, healthy mindset. We focus on the things you can have. You focus on those high quality foods, the good habits that you're building to sustain your mental health. Like not believing everything that pops into your head, for example. If you're willing to change your attitude, everything else is gonna be easier. Hmm. Line number three, it's too expensive. Truth. Buying high quality foods that fuel your brain and stabilize your blood sugar, paying for exercise classes that boost your blood flow to your brain, seeking treatment for your mental health issues may seem pricey, okay? But being sick is much more expensive than thoughtfully spending your resources to stay well. With a better functioning brain, you will have more money because the quality of your decisions will be better. Uh, it means you perform better at work, 
at school and your relationships? Line number four, I don't have the time. Truth, you may think that finding time to exercise, prepare healthy meals, strategize uh, your stress management, like meditation or prayer, it feels impossible. I don't, I just don't have the time. You know, sure, grabbing a donut, eating out, you know, deep fried, whatever, uh, it just seems quicker than grabbing an apple, an orange, or having a takeout salad bowl, <laughs> which by the way, those things will help, help you in the long run. It takes time to plan food just, you know, for you, but healthy meal kits, spending one afternoon making um, big batches of food that you can uh, put into portions and have throughout the week, I mean, it makes daily meals a breeze. And you can find ways to sneak exercise into your day by taking the dog for a quick walk or, you know, walking further from where you go into the grocery store, trading 15 minutes of TV time in order to do a meditation. Plus, spending time and energy to optimize your brain will help you live longer <laughs> and uh, cognitively be sharper. We don't want to have those mushy brains where we're not remembering everything. It just gives much more time overall and more quality of time. Line number five, everything in moderation, just a little can't hurt. Truth. This is the gateway to the continuing anxiety and depression. So it's generally an excuse to justify doing the wrong thing for your physical and mental health. Just a little can't hurt leads to one cigarette that lowers the blood flow in your brain, right? Just one piece of cake that sets you up for mood swings because it messes with your blood sugar, which messes with your hormones, which messes with your mood. Uh, just one drink actually worsens anxiety and, and uh, depression. So stop lying to yourself. You know why? Because you deserve the truth. I'm Kate from North Council on Life Coaching, and that's your Winning Wednesday.